one of my favorite nicknames of all of mixed martial arts. Uh, Maurice, the uh, crochet boss, <laughs> uh, versus Greg, throw women on beds of assault rifles hard, I think is his official nickname. Um, Prince of War, but yes, that's uh, what it I also would. Prince of War, my bad. I, you know, fucking get those mixed up sometimes. Uh, <laughs> my bad. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and introduce us, buddy. Uh, so Mo, Mo Green, uh, Crochet Boss coming in at plus 260. Greg Hardy, the minus 330 favorite. Um, yeah, I'll say that Greg Hardy switched camps, went to go uh, train with Rashad, Rashad Evans, Evans, Dean yeah. Thomas, those guys out. Um, I don't know where they're based out of, but that's like who Woodley trains with as well. So they're kind of the same camp. Um, and I, I mean, I, essentially, I, I it looked good, I, I thought. Like this is one of those classic scenarios where we have to like separate the man from the athlete to like evaluate this. Fight. Right, like I thought like, he looked good. And also, I also and I'll get into it after we officially break down the fight. But like, I want to like just say like like you know, he's a young man. Like maybe the story's not over on him. You know what I mean? Like maybe the, the maybe there's a redemption story coming. Maybe, but I don't know enough about how he's currently living. To really yeah. kind of like go there, but we'll get there. Um, but so yeah, um, you know, uh, Maurice Green was plus two sixty. Actually, I was actually kind of shocked at that. And then uh, I was too. But yeah. I mean, it made sense after you watched it after develop. You watched the fight. Yeah, um, Vegas knew what was up. Greg Hardy minus three twenty. Also important to note, Greg Hardy almost became the first heavyweight to ever miss weight. Did you know? Yeah, that? dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one sixty or two sixty six five point five. He had to make 266, obviously, because you get the one-pound allowance. But, like, yeah, he had to take they the extra one extra hour. hour. Yeah, yeah, they gave him an extra hour. And, I mean, God damn it, did he look like it. Just such a massive human being. But not that he has no tits, not a lot of jiggle. Oh, no, no, no. He it's his, it's like his, dude, his legs. Yeah, his, his ass and legs are huge. I was, his, his shorts. Too. His yeah, arms his arms don't look like fighters. His arms look like no. Transformers. Like, yeah, his like, whole his whole body looked like fucked up, like strong. Like, like I was like, God did damn, not look like a fighter. He still has NFL body. Right, it's sure. crazy. Like I was, I bro, I'm so happy you say that because I literally thought it to myself. I was like, when do you lose a football body when you've done it that long? Like, do you ever lose it at that point? To be real, I kind of still have mine, and I haven't even right like the, the shape. Mark. Yeah, like, like I just, I mean, you do it for fucking 13, 15 years, and I mean, you know what I'm saying, but uh. I uh, also wanted to note, too, that, um, you, I mean, on the same note of just, like, being swole, uh, when I looked at Hardy's back, I got, like, this immediate comp came to my mind. And it's kind of going to shock you because I like to make, like, cross-racial comps. Like, I feel like everybody just makes, like, every comp has to be the same race. But I'm talking about it just back fucking Lesnar, bro. Like, when I Ooh, looked at Hardy, You might be right, yeah, because got, it's, like, like so, like, like – Mm -hmm. Nom flashback to like Lesnar's like roided out fucking back. Like, I don't know. Hard, that's how fucking big Hardy is. He's fucking his back remind me. Well, I you Lesner. should. I I, I want to note as well in, in his post. Oh fuck! All right, well, let's break down the fight and then I'll get something else that goes There's to a lot his to back. Like well, here. yeah, yeah. So his striking looked good. He yeah. was catching Mo Green with some nice counters, and apparently he has real power because like. He was rocking Mo Green yeah, with these shots. Yeah, Mo Green was not having a good time. And I mean, round one, let's not, it's not necessarily even just standing as you may No, think he took him down and pound. a lot of good control Super on top. Super effective. Ground. That kind of reminded me of Brock, too, bro. Like, right. I'll be real. Like, I was like, felt like it was reminding me so much of Brock, but instead of Roy's, it's just natural. <laughs> just real. Yeah, just like, like real, like a real free. A lot of Brock, just the heavy, the size of his hands. The back, the the ground and pound. The strength, the, just the overall strength. strength. You could tell he was just way stronger. Like, Mo Green yes. didn't know how to deal with the strength. Yes, and, and talking about just, like, natural physical physiques, not the exact opposite of Mo Green. Mo Green, we, we, right. we, we Six, alluded seven. to him earlier. He, he's the guy who was 330 pounds and went to the MMA gym to lose weight and just get in shape. And now he's found himself in UFC fighting a monster like, you know, Greg Hardy. So, Talking about like physical freak versus like not physical. I mean, six seven is kind of physical. Six freak, seven but, 250. You know what I'm but, saying? So like pretty average size for your height there. Yeah, and just I'm talking about like athleticism, like explosiveness. Oh, like at like, four like, straight. Like, yeah, I'm sure Greg Hardy's one of the most, or one of the best athletes in the UFC. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I would put money on ever it. Ever be in the UFC in, in, in uh, 
And Mo Green, like I said, is just six, seven aside. There's not a lot of physical tools. Yeah, that, I mean, that, and that, it, that's ex- that I mean, that's essentially exactly what you watch play out too. Yes, it's just yes, yes. a guy that was almost like a bigger, stronger man, just like kind of manhandle the guy that was not as athletically gifted. Yes. And also, Greg Hardy's striking looked good. Like I'm not going to yes. say technically he looked bad. His striking well, was good. And what emphasizes that, what like pers- like kind of emphasizes and embodies that, if you will, is the fact that what dropped Mo Green for the final TKO was a jab. It wasn't some crazy. Football just a little, player, just a little step in, wild. just a little step in jab. It was a nice, crisp, like technically sound jab, which is scary because we right. just spent, you know, however many minutes just, you know, going in on how physically gifted uh, Greg Hardy is and how and his power out. clearly translates. His power clearly translates. Like I said, dropped a like a really good heavyweight with a jab. Like man, it was impressive. Like like I said, I hard guy to root for. Hard guy to root for. And then I also kind of wanted to get on this, like, redemption tip. Like, let's not forget, he was really, really young when all that happened. He really, And I, I know that's yeah. kind of a shitty excuse. Like, I'm not trying to be like a boys will be boys. Like, I'm super against domestic violence for sure. He's just now 32. And that yeah, happened so five he years ago. 24, 25, or like, I don't know. Oh, for all the allegations, 25, 26 so, of when it all occurred. And that's about the age me and Harrison are and like, I mean, we're not out here doing this, but not everybody had the same upbringing we did. You know, I'm, I, also I'm, weren't I'm, millionaires in the NFL. Like, I'm not making excuses, and, and also super controversial take that I kind of don't even want to say, but I gotta say it. We don't know what old girl did. Like, like also, uh, like, I mean, like, you want to hear a more controversial take? She dropped the charges. She dropped the charges. Um, and, and but also, it, apparently, tam- witness tampering was maybe a thing there. Yeah, it was, it's it's like, real like, like black market style to, like, story. Like, like I'm and 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 take it from here. I, I'm throwing out what ifs here. I'm oh like, yeah, Me I'm too. not dying on the Greg Hardy hill. But nope. what? But what I also want to just mainly kind of just leave a door open for a redemption story, like not full blown cancel culture, like unredeemable, like the guy. You know what I'm saying? What if this guy lives to be 70? I mean, hell, the guy's running for president or in their late 70s. Like, 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 you know, a lot can change a lot uh, or not or not. Maybe or not. Right. Goes up in his face and he's a complete fucking scumbag and he deserves whatever happens to him. I'm just saying I'm not the guy to make that judgment. And and and, and, and I, and I kind of want to tie this into what's been happening with Sean Connery's passing. Everybody's shitting on a dead man and canceling dead people and shit. Like what I'm saying is like, like, like the let's not like, like man. I'm not even religious, but the whole casting a stone thing. Like, like ain't none of us out here like perfect enough to be like saying other people are unredeemable or or like like I don't know, man. Like like I I know I'm not trying to be that like throwing a rock at that glass house because you know what I'm saying, man? Like if, if, if we're all what? being honest, like if all of our deepest, darkest secrets were exposed, like every single human on earth would be canceled. You know what I'm saying? Well, and, it's and, also, and it, it's, it's hard to put our judgment of our cultural standards on a different time period. Like that's not a thing you can do. You know what I'm saying? Like the way the world is viewed today is not how it was seen then. So like, your perception as a world and as a person is entirely different when you lived back then versus now. Yeah, so yeah, it's unfair yeah. to think about like, for instance, I know that like the Sean Connery thing, like they're like, he's super misogynistic. I assume is what they're saying. Yeah. And a woman beater and all that. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Right. Right. But he's born in like 19, like what? 30 Scotland. Like it's not a great spot. Like no, it's no, not. No, I feel it. It, so, it, 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 you know, and, and what I'm just saying, it's like I think Dave Chappelle said it. Like, man, nature cancels that motherfucker. Like, what were you over here talking shit on a dead guy over like a Playboy interview he did for, right. like, forty years ago? I just and like, who are we? Like, like you right. never done nothing wrong. Like, well, that you was never fucked up. Like, I'm just talking not you, but I'm just talking about like society, like right, just right. casting these judgments. Like, man, let's look at your worst moment if it played out in front of everybody. Well, think like, about it this way: if a cultural standard was to like be judged in time periods, this is just like a a sideways analogy. What if we figure out in 50 years dogs can talk to us? We just have to like do something to where we can communicate with them, and then they tell us they don't want to be our pets. 
Are we all wrong for having dogs yeah, as pets? Yeah, are you going to take down the Beefy Boy statue? Because I have a fucking dog. <laughs> like, right. You, know you see what I'm saying? Like, you no, can't put... Just, yeah, bro, I feel you. It's it's crazy. And, and, and like I said, and, and I'm bringing this full circle to Greg Hardy because, like I said, we're talking about a relatively young man. And like I said, maybe he's a piece of shit. Maybe he'll never change. Maybe he's still beating women. I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to die on this hill. But it's crazy. The, the Sean Connery thing was so interwoven with it to me because the night before the fight, I uh, went to sleep thinking, God, Greg Hardy's such a piece of shit. Can't wait to watch him get beat up tomorrow. Then <laughs> the morning and then the Sean Connery, and I spent all day like debating people on Twitter of just like canceling dead people and all that. And it made me like literally all in a day's time shift the light that I see Greg Hardy in. Like, damn, am right. I being a hypocrite? Like I'm sitting here saying, like you know, like 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 who are we to judge and all that? And then here I am, you know, judging Greg Hardy. So, like I said, I mean, he definitely fucked up. Definitely, probably, you know, not a Boy Scout. Probably, you know, not somebody you want to like, you know, to, you know, maybe allow trespass on the street. But, yeah. But, but, but what I'm saying is, like, who are we to just you know be holier than now and 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 right. just say somebody can't come back from a mistake? So I just, like I said, I went to sleep feeling one way and I woke up feeling another way of just like, you know, like, like hopefully, you know, I'm actually rooting for a Greg Hardy redemption story instead of wanting to see him crash and burn. And I feel like our society could use a little bit more of that. Um, and yeah, man, 